All right, guys, we are back with episode number six of Road to Supersonic Legend. In the last episode, we did make it through bronze with a carry from our teammates. Uh, as I talked about before in the previous episodes, we're going to be trying not to score ourselves up until uh, the time where I believe that I feel like it's proper to actually score some goals. So at the beginning, we're going to be trying to support our teammates and sort of reinforce what we've been talking about in the first episode of gameplay and then also talk about uh, the way to improve as we talked about in the first four episodes. So let's jump into game number one. We're in Silver 1, I believe. Yeah, Division 1. So just on the very cusp of, of Silver here. Um, hopefully we can push into Silver 2 or Silver 3 in this episode. I'm not really sure how many games it's going to take. But we'll jump right in and see how it goes. And hopefully uh, we can get carried by Silver as well. So I'll pop that across. It could be in. I did not mean to score that. <laughs> So as you can see, we've actually changed our name to Jimmy here, and I put so much effort into changing my avatar, and uh, <laughs> and they're actually sign it on a PS4. I also realized I was playing way too fast. So right here, as I was talking about before, I'm going to be sitting in midfield waiting for someone to make a play in mid, and that's really just too good not to shoot. Uh, that's a really good pass from my teammate. Uh, that's a really good play by him to make that dunk and, and get in there and challenge them. A bit of a throw away from one, and then Leo is stuck in the corner. So we will shoot that one just because I don't want my teammate to get mad. Um, all I did was just drive up to that. But uh, I'm going to flip forward. And then uh, right here what I'm going to do is my teammate tried to go for that, that mid boost. But he does grab it. And I just grabbed some pads. Nice pass back here. So what I'm going to do is just drive near the wall here and just stay in front. My teammate wants to go for it too, but I'm just going to get around. Make sure I stay in front. Good play with my teammate. So I'm going to move up a little bit. Good save by them. So my teammates uh, trying to stay close. I don't want to get in the way of anybody here on my team. Um, so here I can pass this middle, maybe. He can go for it. See if he can finish it. Nice, good finish. So all I did there was just drive up to it and then hit it. And then he came up and made the finish. Almost missed, but he did finish it off. Um... So far, my teammate has kind of rotated ball side, which is something I want to talk about as we move up in the in the, the ranks here. Um, whenever the ball is rotating into the back corner, um, I, you want to make sure you're rotating away from the ball a lot of the time, especially in like 2v2 or, or 3v3. Um, not being in the length, the, the run of the ball all the time uh, is, is not... <laughs> like being in the way of the ball when you're coming back will cause you to bump into your teammates like I showed. So that was a bit of a miss for my teammate, but quite all right. Both go for the corner. I'm going to let them def defend here. Bit of a miss. So, so far I can just see that their accuracy is plaguing them on their turns and stuff. So, making a good touch. Teammate is stuck on me. <laughs> a good clear. They should block to the corner. Ends up making a bad touch, but... They're kinda kinda getting kind of confused. My teammate's in mid, so I'm going to try and make a pass middle. I think he just went away, though. Trying to watch for mid here. Still lots of time. Bit of a miss from my teammate. I think maybe he expected them to touch it or something, but... So I'm going to just sit here and... Rotate around. My teammate isn't there though, so this could be a goal. Oh, that was a good block. I, didn't, I probably shouldn't have saved that. It's a good shot from them though. Okay, let's see what my teammate wants to do. So, so he's doing circles in the corner. This is where you want to just kind of back off and... And kind of, you know, let... Let your teammate chase around like he is and uh, just make your touches. Stay with the ball, stay close. I'll let him touch that. Don't want to get too involved, don't want to frustrate them or anything. So, my teammate is. That was confusing. He kind of did a full circle around me. Oh. <laughs> you know, I don't want to. You know, we're up two goals already. Don't want to be too crazy here. Drive under the ball a little bit. Just going to pop this off the wall like this. Like I said, I'm just trying to do enough that I feel like that the Silvers can do uh, in this series. I'm going to flip forward here. I got 100 boost. I don't really need to waste it. I'm just going to back into that. Nice hit from my teammate. Oh, almost. He can finish that, I think. Oh, I thought that was going to be a save on the post, but nice try. Bye. I think that was one. And uh, Smith Dog 7373 coming in clutch at the end here. I thought the guy was going to pinch it off the post and fling it into our net somehow. You never you never know with silver. 
Probably see some crazy stuff down here. In the depths of Rocket League Ranked. We're going to be, uh, you know, trying to stay close to the ball in the corner. To get 50-50. What I'm going to do is go to go wide here in case my teammate makes a pass out or a hit forward. He does not end up getting a touch, but I just want to stay close. I can challenge now that he hit it towards, towards me there. And I'm going to loop out wide. He made a touch to the corner. He'll be rough here for them. Good try my teammate. So now I'm going to move in here. This guy's beating me right now. Um, as you get faster in the game, though, uh, that won't be uh, that'll be a win for you if you actually boost towards. But obviously, right now I'm trying to just move at a pace that I feel like is pretty fast. Good try, my teammate there. So right here, I see my t the uh, the opponent coming in for a hit. It's a really good, solid hit. I'm gonna do an early flip, so it's kind of like weak. I'm coming for an attack here. Oh. So I flip into it the second the ball comes into contact with the the player. The ball gets pretty high for him, so it's going to be hard for him. It's a good try. Teammate wants to go for it again. Even though he's beat there, I got to recognize that as the as the second man. And uh, sit behind and wait. That's a pretty good shot opportunity. Oh. Just going to sit in front of it again. And just drive with it here. Oh. Should be okay, though. Good clear. It's a good hit. <laughs> Just, uh, just, you know, just testing the waters. That was a good try from them. They almost got a shot off. I feel kind of bad. I don't know. Like, I don't really like to be this low in the rank. I really want to get up in the ranks um, quickly. Uh, but I also want to make sure that I'm not doing too much. I'm still carrying my team here, which is not really wa what I wanted to do. I think it all comes from that first goal we scored. But first game so far. Um, just going to flip past this. Um, first game so far, not not too eventful, but we do go 3-0 here and we uh, get the win. So hopefully we can move up a division or two. So we do div up to div 2 already, which is pretty good. Uh, Smith Dog wants to party with me, but I think for now I'm going to stick with solo queue. Just so we get different players, we get different play styles uh, down in these ranks. So I can help as many people who are stuck in silver down here. Uh, and help them push into gold, hopefully quite soon. I'm not exactly sure how to say my teammate's name, but it's like looks like PC Hitax or Peach Hitax. <laughs> not really sure. So I'm going to flip forward and try to boost. Teammate is moving a little slow. So right here, I'm going to move around the ball and just grab a few boost pads and uh, make sure to push up with my teammate. He's he's really made a play already, and I should have been up there ready for it. What a pop. Let's see if my teammate gets in there. So that's good. What I'll do is I'll drive up to this and just pop it off the backboard. My teammate is kind of <laughs> probing the back of me, but it's okay. So good try here. Close. So right here, I'm going to wait. I'm se I'm second man. My teammate doesn't want to rotate back yet. So now I'm going to turn and pop it up. going to pop it off the corner. So with that, clearly we have some space. PC tries to hit it. Good touch. I try and push forward. Both of them are panicking a little bit. And nice finish. There we go. So uh, that little that little pop that I made uh, has to do with like timing when the bounce is coming, and that made them a little panic a little bit. Stuff like that in the lower ranks can help you a lot if you just get the timing down with your turns and uh, find those openings, get those half volleys. Getting the ball high up in the air is really really strong. So like I said in the first few episodes, getting used to popping the ball up and uh, see how I fake there. I don't just go for it, don't barrel into it, especially a second man. Um, you just kind of want to kind of on a wait. I'm gonna pass this over to my teammate. And then see if you can pass it to me. Close. Good try. Um, but as I was talking about before, just try to get the ball with power into the air as high as possible. Like when you're hitting it, you want to kind of hit it high. See if my teammate wants this. I'm going to move out here. Let my teammate come in. Oh. Nice. Good play from them. So all I did there was uh, try to shadow the ball. Obviously, uh, make a touch here. I don't want to like hold on to the ball too close. It's a good play to hit me hit around me. So you do get outplayed by a, a silver player. Uh, you know, I'm sure I'm going to see that in the comments. <laughs> the idea there is to not, I don't want to be like too aggressive with ball possession. Because obviously if I stay on the ball 24-7, I'm not going to score this. They're going to be there. Um, I would have beat them if I went full speed, but I don't want to, I don't want to do something that a silver can't do. So I'm going to pop that over the one player. Over the second one. Let's see if he touches it over here. 
guy's pretty good dribbling. This is the kind of possession I'm talking about. Um, you want to see stuff like this from from uh, from how you're playing in, in these ranks. When you get the silver, you kind of want to hold the ball like this, start nice and close. Nice try from them. So I'm going to loop wide. My teammate's on the ball. Oh. This one guy's really aggressive. <laughs> we got lock wheels here. Oh. How'd he pass? Look at that. So I'm going to pop it around him since he's challenging me. Um. Yep. He's going to keep hitting around them, just drifting around. Good pass. I'll stay with it here. And my teammate is blocking my angle. I don't want to score this. Let them come in. Close. So I'll pop that across. It could be in. I did not mean to score that. <laughs> uh, all I did was just drive with the wall and and it just popped in by accident. Uh, my bad. So yeah, I'm trying to play to the level of silver. It's just so hard not to go with your muscle memory and uh, drive near the ball. Like that first one where they outplayed, I almost drove closer to it just to stay on the block. Because at a higher level, or even like when you're getting better at the game, you want to stay with that ball on those 50-50s. Um, giving space means they have a space to get around you. I'm going to pop this out the backboards. This is the kind of power I'm talking about where you flip it up. And then see if my teammate can come in. Nice try. They just hit it pretty hard. So I'm going to boost a little bit. Stay with the ball. And I pop it up over. Let's see what he has here. Nice try on the, the control there. So I just challenged up on the wall because I can see he's trying to control up the wall. Here I'm going to wait in mid once again. My teammate has a position in the corner. He tries to go for the boost instead. So now I'm going to wait behind, wait for him to challenge this, which is good. Once again, I'm going to try and support in middle for him. Trying to wait for those boosts. <laughs> you see my teammate zooming in. I don't want to score because we're already up a goal. And uh, so far we've kept it pretty even. I'm going to pop it across here, see if my teammate can come in. Not bad, not bad. Both of them kind of chasing in the corner. Teammate bopping me. Uh, so far, so inter like very interesting game we have in our hands. See, he's going to hit it, so I'm going to leave here. I'm going to move back. In this situation where my teammate's on the side, it's okay for me to rotate ball side here, just because there's no one in the way. <laughs> nice hit for my teammate. Oh, no. Oh no. This is not what you like to see right here. <laughs> One, two, three. Oh man. And four. Just to add insult to injury there. Um unfortunate, unfortunate. As you can see, even with that that goal they got the star, it's it's still a bit of I think I'm doing too much. I don't really know what I could do differently. I kinda I'm kinda staying too relevant, I guess, on the ball. I hit this like on the wall here. My teammate is pre-jumping, man. He's he's feeling it. So my teammate's trying to get back. I see he's trying to stay on the ball here. He's watching it. I see him. <laughs> Nose diving into the, into the wall there. I'm going to just flip past this. Oh, touched it a little bit. Oh. Yeah, a touch across. Don't want to score. Obviously, we're at 3-1 to one here. So that will be game number two. Uh, you know, not too bad. I think the uh, the opponents are still pretty slow here. Um, the one thing that I could say that would really take people out of the game is if you just watch that midfield like I talked about before and boost a little bit to pick up the speed. Um, you can see that most of the time I'm just... Because the ball pace is so slow, um, I can just kind of pace the field with 100 boost and find the time to use the boost. Uh, once you move up in the ranks, so you're going to find that players are going to start boosting a lot more and realize that they can boost while also getting pads and keep up their, their speed uh, a little bit more to hit the ball more more with power and accuracy. All right, I'm a laser. Let's get it, man. Let's see what we can do here. The power the power duo. Speedy. So this ball is pretty dangerous off this corner. Looks like he might stay with it. Let's just sit behind the, the ball while he's trying to make a play. And uh, let's go play forward. I'm going to just try and hit this if I can. Make a touch. I don't want to go too crazy with it. <laughs> Make a little bit of a miss there. See my teammate can come in. 
close. Nice try. So they're on it here. It's a little bit spooky to go for that challenge. Um, obviously, they didn't quite make it, but I'll pass it middle. Once again, I'm just going to watch this midfield. Wait for the ball to come out. It does get a bump, but once again, I'm, I'm last man here for a little bit. Once he hits that ball away from me, then I can come challenge it. I'm going to start to like reinforce some good uh, rotation plays and stuff. So I can try my teammate. Teammate is stuck in the net. Surprised he didn't get mad at me for that one because that, that was definitely an open shot. So my teammate does not run a ro rotate back. I've noticed so far. So this is this is how you're gonna deal with a, a player who doesn't rotate back very often. Is is uh you know just sitting in that spot where I am and and being next on the play. And it's gonna be hard to set this guy up if he's always really aggressive. So that's good. Let's see if we can finish it. Nice. There you go. You know, I'm surprised we haven't seen anybody type yet. Oh. And wow. You know what? I'm going to let these guys 1v1. <laughs> oh, they left. What just happened? I guess there's rage quitters in silver. You know, it's really interesting to, to think about it, though, because like there's players that are down here in silver and they're they're rage quitting as if like their teammate, you know, is the be all end all of issues but we all suck down here you know what i mean like you're uh you're not a golden ticket into super Sonic legend or any of the higher ranks at this point you you still have a lot to work on so it's funny to me that you wouldn't want to just improve and play the game out but uh oh okay we're good so i'm gonna just touch it here never mind i get touch Touch it out mid. Hopefully my teammate can push up. It's a good touch. This guy's veteran. That's a good touch here. I tried to be that last last player and bump the last guy. Good hit across as well. So once again, we're just watching in here. I if I was if I was in a higher rank, I would go off the wall in there and try to challenge. But uh oh, that's not a good touch by my teammate. Makes me have to go back here now. And right here, I'm gonna wait for him again. So I'm going to let this ball push forward. Let my teammate come up. See, he wants to push forward. See if he gets it on the wall. So good hit mid. Oh. And my teammate's challenging the ball again. So I can see that he just wants to stay with the ball a lot. I can do a quick turn here and pop the ball around. That little drift that I talked about in the earlier episodes of this, uh, this tutorial uh, will help you with those, with those turns. Um, as you can see, my teammate wants to be on the ball 24-7. And this is one of those players that I was talking about in the f the uh, uh, the first episode of the gameplay, last episode in the bronze gameplay. Um, how to deal with a ball chaser. So we're going to talk about that a little bit. Um, you can see right here, I don't want to be here because look at him. <laughs> here he goes, right? So if he comes up and behind me, there's no one in mid to like support the, the play. See how he's always on the ball. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to keep feeding these mid until he learns that maybe he should sit in mid, which is what he does here, but he's going to get outplayed. Um, so he's going to keep chasing the ball and he'll turn here. So just, just know it. You gotta, you gotta realize he's one of those players that just hold down the, tr he's just taping down the, uh, the trigger and hoping for the best. So I'm going to hit this mid <laughs> and he does go again. It's a good hit. And so no one was in mid, so we're okay. And look, he just keeps going. This is, uh. This is the kind of player you got to be really aware of. So we're going to talk about that and what we should do. Let him come in mid. You just got to really sacrifice your own positioning and, and accept that he's going to be the one chasing around. And I'm just going to sit chill. I'm going to sit and chill, you know, just gonna sit and chill down here. Hopefully he can turn on that. Did miss it, but nice try though. Once again, just going to let him chase it. Let him stay with it. Be the bigger player here. I have to score this just because... He's not going to be a one to receive a pass. The only problem with the player like this is you're going to have to be the one that depends on yourself to score these opportunities. Because if you think about it, when you're trying to pass, how are you going to be passing to him if he's always right behind you chasing the ball down, right? So be the player to let him push forward. Uh, you know, boost down like a monkey, <laughs> basically. Uh, you know, just go for it all the time. And be the bigger player to just sit back and, uh, and stay with the ball. Uh, in midfield. So I'm just going to pop it out. Let him chase up. 
There you go. Could shoot this, maybe? A nice try. It's a good block. So he wants to turn on it, but you can see that because of the, the way the ball bounced behind him, going for it already, <laughs> going for a, a turn out on that already is going to put you out of, out of position because there's someone who's ready for that bounce before you are. If you're outplayed in a specific situation, you're best to just... Um, you're best to just, you know, wait for it. Go back, get into a better position, let your teammate come out and uh, make a play. It's a good boost grab. Pretty high ball. I don't think Silvers will really go for that, so I'm going to wait. So he's going to go for this again. Even though it's an open shot for me, he will turn in. And uh, like I said, just going to wait for my opportunity to hit the ball across. Oh, I'm coming on this. There we go. Gonna drive with the ball here. Teammate is still not recovering, so that's also a thing you need to worry about in the lower ranks is that um, players will take a long time to recover. So keep that in mind. Oh. Oh my. Oh my. <laughs> so I'm gonna try not to jump too fast here. But <laughs> see, this is what I'm talking about. Like you cannot you cannot depend on your dribbles in a position where he's right behind me. Because he's just going to come in and attack me. And it's really surprising that as much of like a team game this is, no one seems to understand that that's how this game works. Like they just think that they're solo. Like look. I'm going to say wow to him. <laughs> uh, it's absolutely crazy. He does say sorry and he realizes it. Oh, there you go. So, as I said, ball chasers, it's unfortunate. It will happen. And uh, you really just need to uh, allow your teammate to come in and just swipe it and take the ball from you. Um, you only have to deal with him once. He'll move on. And it'll be alright. See? It's already over. You know, Kron, GG man, well played. But uh, we'll probably never see you again. Alright, so. For Silver 1 Division 3, we're not quite there yet. Um, into Silver 2. Let me know in the comments too, by the way, if you guys want to see all of Silver 1, 2, and 3 in different videos. Uh, I'm sure there are players who are in specific ranks that would love to see that. Um, so if you do want to see me do each rank specifically, that's a great shot. Um, I will go through and do one episode per per complete rank. That way there's like three per silver, three for gold, three for platinum onwards. Um, and obviously we finish off with Super Sonic Legend and Grand Champ 3. Well, let's, uh, let's keep it going though. This ball's over my teammate's head. He gets kind of confused. So I'm just going to wait behind. Once again... Reinforcing that. I can see that my te that guy was coming in to challenge me. So right there, I what I do is I fake it. I drive away at the last second because he's trying to block me. I'm going to try and get this mid. This guy's pretty fast. It's a good touch. It's a good beat. Seems like we're getting a few better players here. I might be on target. I did not mean to score that. And uh, Jimmy gets a goal. Uh, that's my bad. Did you say nice shot, which I'll say thanks to. Let's, slow, let's tone it down a little bit, though. It's a little bit too uh, too advanced for Silver. I think that that quick turn. He does pass it right to me. I'm going to pop it up just with a pop like that. You can see how much power it gives you when the ball is bouncing towards you like that. And uh, you just jump into the bottom half of the ball. And that has to do with timing. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to miss this. I'm going to try for it. Just to, uh, you know, reinforce that we see the, the right position. It was a good try. And I talked about this in the earlier episodes, too, that, you know... It's gonna be it's gonna be a learning experience for a lot of people and oh what a save it was close it's gonna be a learning experience for people uh, at this rank you need to accept that you know everyone's playing at their own pace and uh, there's no reason to get mad at players that, of this rank I get like competitive drive at like higher levels of like getting upset because like you know you're trying to be the best of the best but in this level you really don't know who you're running into. It could be a nine-year-old on the other side. It could be a five-year-old. Who knows? It could be an eight-year-old grandma just having the time of their life trying this game for the first time. There's no need to get mad. You know? I think this, this game at a, at a core is meant to be for fun. And uh, only a very small percentage of people will experience what it means to be a competitive player in this game. Oh, nice try. Good save. Try. Um, so, you know, just have fun with it. And honestly, when I was playing at the start... The way that I improved the most was when I just had fun with it. And I really enjoyed the small improvements. You know, small wins. Everything you want to just, like, 
the first time you hit a, hit a certain type of ball, first time you go for an aerial and and redirect, it, um, first time you get a good shot to the top corner. Like you can play the game all day and, and just go for regular shots on net if you want, but you'll never improve as fast as people who are doing more advanced stuff or trying more advanced stuff. I'm gonna just hit this off the wall like this um, and see what my teammate does. Oh, close on the dunk. So I'll let him touch it. He backed off, but he he could have went on that for sure. So I'm going to try and hit this off the corner here. Pop it off the wall. See my teammate comes in mid. Good try. I'll put a close one there. Good touch to the corner. It's going to be an awkward bounce here. I do get bumped by my teammate, but that's what I was talking about with the ball side. When he goes into that corner and I'm trying to challenge, um, it's, it's, it puts us in a position... It puts us in a position where, uh, yeah, as I was saying, puts us in a position where I can't really challenge properly because he'll end up bumping me because he's driving uh, with his pers perspective on the ball. There's very low chance that he's uh, watching me instead of the, the the ball in the middle of the field. And uh, yeah, that was <laughs> that was just a spectacle to watch. Honestly, I just had to sit there and enjoy that for a second. Sorry if I cut out, but uh, that was that was something. This will be the last game of this episode, I think. Um, so far. I think the biggest thing is just dealing with ball chasers and people who are who are not really rotating. And uh, I think this is important to know for all ranks, honestly. So that's a good try from him. Trying to make a shot there. I think I got 50-50 late here. and just going to sit behind the ball. That way when he hits it, it bounces up. See my teammate goes for an aerial. They're gonna, he's going to try, maybe? Close. You know, I've, no, I've been noticing that even with my, like, little bounces and little hits. Oh, no, he owned gold. Um, I, it's really hard for me to shield or hide that I, I'm a little higher level, even with my jumps, because I'm landing, like, perfectly <laughs> a lot of the times. So a lot of times I'm trying to just, like, mess up like this and stuff, but a lot of the times I'm just doing this and, like, readjusting perfectly to land. And it's one thing that, like, maybe if I play keyboard mouse a lot more, I just don't really enjoy it. I'd rather be able to focus on the commentary and, and help you guys learn than, you know, challenge myself. But I could still just kind of move around and rotate at the, at the level. It's a really good bump. It's a good try here. Oh, I probably shouldn't have saved that. My teammate pushes up. Nice try. So right here, what you want to do is you want to sit in mid. This is where you want to be right here, and you want to go for it like this. I'm not going to hit it, but um, that's the idea. You don't want to come underneath the ball. And uh, if you do those aerial trainings, as I talked about before... Uh, you'll get the you'll get used to the timing um, of when to when to jump because you need to space out between the ball and, and um, the actual hits. Let's see if he can get it mid here. That's a really good hit. It goes across fast enough that I don't react. I mean, obviously, I would react if I moved a little faster, but I'm gonna do that. And nice, there we go. We got super victorious. Look at us go. I um, hope you guys know that video though. This is episode number five, like I said, or no, oh, number six. Um, we're gonna be slowly moving up the ranks to the point where I can start to move a little faster and actually, you know, make more plays. Uh, it's an interesting series of games here uh, with the rage quit very early on, and then the guy who would knock it off the ball. And like I said, this is gonna happen when you're moving up the ranks. There are people who are just gonna completely ignore the fact that you exist. They're gonna think that they're the best player on the field, and honestly, um. You should think that the same way as well. Uh, you should think that you're the best player on the field, but that doesn't mean to just be on the ball 24-7. It actually means to do the opposite. Um, you know, if you want to consider it this way, just be like, okay, my, 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 my teammate and the opponents don't really have a brain. Let's, let's think of where we can be to cover as many options as possible and be the bigger player to uh, cover those options and make the best plays for your team. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed that episode. Uh, until next time, have a great day. I'll catch you guys in the next one.